Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Once again, I'd like to thank him, because I really know he's not that much of an asshole, but I want to stay in character, so... Whatever. You're welcome. Whatever. Oh, that's weird. This... Hello, Black Hell. Black Hell. Black Hell Academy. Right, that's weird because we never got to see Chloe actually attending this school. It was just uh, Max. <clears throat> Good luck, seniors. Hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was mm -hmm. thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? No way, not non Warren. Ah, uh, that sounds awful, non Warren. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Yes, well, uh... Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Seriously, if they, like... Uh, get DVD from Steph. If they, if they made these guys, uh, potential love interest more, more interesting... My mouse doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, if they made those love interests more interesting, then I... Maybe I could go for it, but it's just that I'm not really interested. Uh, Nathan <coughs> in tights. Can't unsee. I mean, Warren was okay, I guess, says Ethan. Sorry, Elliot. Non Warren. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Meh. Well, at least not for now. I guess he could be interesting, but. It's just that. Okay. Man. Stuff seems to be a bit neurotic. Uh, let's have a look around. Oh, this guy. Right, because David doesn't work here yet. Skip. Let's pick the skip. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Way to go. Yeah, you know how I roll. <clears throat> so, I went to the mill last night, cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, you went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Hmm. Good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. I guess. Yeah, okay. Great. Oh. 
means like now. This doesn't sound how bad. That sounds really cool actually. I'm gonna Google what's this actually? So what did you think? Really good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome, buddy Skip. You're welcome, buddy Skip. Miss Grant. It's Morning, Miss Grant. Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. I don't want to ruin the mystery. That sounds highly probable. I wouldn't probable. miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity is overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Mm. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss mm. Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Okay. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Mm-hmm. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Last night really happened? The internet says it did, but <clears throat> I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Principal Wells. Principal Wells? Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I didn't do it, swear. How about minor infractions? How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. 
Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently mm. been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. How would you know the smell? I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Fine, actually no. Well, uh. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Principal Wells, I get it. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity <laughs> to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Hot cool. Sorry, Wellsy, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation for my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all <laughs> students on the premises. Oh. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. How is this a private institution? Like, this... I, I really don't get it. This seems like a public school. Always gave an impression of a public school. But then again, what do I know? <clears throat> this makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. Let's see if I missed any graffitis. Prison wall. This must be somewhere around the school, right? Yeah, I have to. Uh, uh, sorry. Still have to search some more. I would say around there. Huh? Oh, yeah. No sucking. I can normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Well, that's 2010. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? 
Nah. Fuck that. Right, this is making me nervous, so... Right, she did use the word prison, so it must be somewhere around here, no? Oh yeah, wall. Yay! Firewalk rocks, principal wells rocks. I imagine Last she... night's show was too epic. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Does Victoria okay? Interesting. Oh, Carrie Price. Chloe. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Uh, Rachel this, Rachel that. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered them. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Girls. Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Whoa, Seriously, whoa, whoa. I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Oh, walk away. She's not worth it. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. Samantha, I don't remember uh, Samantha from the uh, from a Life is Strange game. Hey, Chloe. Hey, what do Samantha. I? What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Samantha. Uh, just need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Hey, price check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Hey, out of the blue question. 
What do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. <laughs> last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, meth central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. You wouldn't understand. No one understands me. I'm so misunderstood. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Mm, why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. I have no idea what he just said. No. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Yeah, sure, sure. whatever. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. Oh, wait. How seriously am I taking this right oh, now? Oh, she's left-handed. I'm left-handed. Yeah, no, that's... Uh... There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell uh, Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. I don't want to be mean. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Mm. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. I know. I'm just trying to see if I can go there. Right, let's go. Get this over with. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. Uh, I used to play. I used to play with my friend Max. Oh. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Hmm. Oh, so it's like a date thing. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. 
What else have you got to do before class? So is everyone like potentially gay or bisexual in this game? Uh, sure. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't literally take 20 minutes. I'm totally an nice. elf. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Alamasia Bob Chloe. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, or I once made a man came up. The bob. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Um... Training ground. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy-set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fatal deep, knee slam, pummel strike, or strike. I do a pummel strike. I strike his pummel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pummel is the end of a sword handle. Pummel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. Whoops. This sucks. It's all right. <laughs> Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. Fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, 
it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Um... Warlord? No, prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Well, this is fun. I like this. I like those games, so I used to play them. And now it makes me want to play it again. Well, time to breathe. Oh, bread. Uh, pick the log or intimidate. Intimidate it intimidate. is. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. <laughs> what do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Oh. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Oh. Time to work some real magic. Yeah. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, meat puppet. Dragons are pussies. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The Oops. dragon can growl, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Pull out your stomach, taste my axe, grab the key. I want to reach through the bars and grab the stupid key. You try, but he's incredibly agile. He dodges your clumsy attempt with ease. Then he laughs. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he- I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside oh. his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, Holy crap. in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face. And then I laugh. Man, that's extreme. Damn, girl. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah! Boom. Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. Uh, What's next? Well, I guess World we'll Lord stand it's it tent is. Time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black mm. Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. 
The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Annihilation Strike, Brutal Punch, Wrathful Rush. Oh, Don't really shit. know. Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This <laughs> game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um, dance? Encourage Elemon to jump in front of Elemon. Uh, I really want to check out this dance option. I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance to distract him? I'm doomed. Sixteen? What? What? Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Uh, swing for his head or swing for his arm. Um, oh, head. I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh, no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. Oh. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. It Check was. Out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. It was awesome. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Um, let's check out the diary.
Uh, that's right. I, I read that. Uh, Max, you know how things with mom seemed like they couldn't get any worse, ha? Huh? The sad truth is, I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her because I can't be both. But how how can I keep being nice and pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice with mustache? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of our house? Today it's a toolbox and pot throws. Tomorrow it's... I should stop there for sanity's sake. Mm. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. Okay. Max, so the mustache drove me to school today. Yup, that's what my life's become. Even worse, he thought the ride was like a tell me how things are gonna be from now on opportunity. I shut that shit down real quick, but I have a feeling he's gonna run crying to mom about it because that's the kind of little man baby he is. Had a dream about that again, the one where I was there when it happened. Seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much I miss him. I hope that never goes away. Oh, that's sad. The Chloe, he wasn't there. Or was I? How's that going? Drama nerds. Nerds? Oh, so maybe I should go back there. Oh. Right, there's one more guy I missed. Oh no, that's actually him. Uh, okay. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. Nathan. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. You're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. Hmm. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! <laughs> you know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! And what are you doing? Step in. Oh, another challenge. You know what I noticed about these challenges? Like, you really don't have a lot of time. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. Read it. I've got to put Drew down. So I don't like it. Cause... Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off, idiot. Leave now. Idiot. Idiot? You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Nathan is an easy target. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Oh. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What if he cries to daddy? I'm crazy, that's true. You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Piece of your bromance? No thanks, a piece of cake. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? 
You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Does she know something? Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. And thanks for being here on time. Glad we talked, me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. That pic would actually make a sweet tattoo. Oh, there she is. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to- Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Mm. This is getting as surreal as last night. Uh, very so oh, Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh, it's true love. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Oh, that's Thanks. just like me. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no, I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, she'll get your belt. If you know what okay. I mean. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? I love this. I love Rachel. Like, I liked Max, and I will always like like Max. She was the original hero of of this game. 
but Rachel seems amazing. And there must be somewhere here that I could uh, do a graffiti because there's a drama nerd one. Uh, look. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Oh. Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Hmm. Uh, comment. What to say, what to say. Blood shaming or bitter much? Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Oh, but that wasn't a graffiti. So let's keep looking. Uh, search. Rachel oh. looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. This reminds me I actually have a belt of my friends that I need to give her back to. This poster definitely says <laughs> something. To internet or not to internet. I have to. feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors of her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' streetcar named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. now. Sharing is caring. Ramanades. Go in there. And dish. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Should be life is drama. Sweet collar, Pepe. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not here then. Less talk, more belt. Oh, found it. Boom. Horns on Nathan. Halo for Rachel. Save my life. Get some ink. Out. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. 
I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Costume rack. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Oh my god, really wants to get out of this room. Uh, uh, oh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. This will be awkward. <laughs> well, say nothing is a bit creepy, no? Um. Right, uh, I'll just be a silent creeper. Oh! <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back here. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Oh, oh, you? Just as about. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. A uh, firework was pretty good. Getting attacked was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought... Why? Why does it have to end? That's deep. Maybe it doesn't. Well, I don't know if she means that's deep uh, ironically. And I want to go with maybe it doesn't. Either way. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. Uh, How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, uh, she's so awkward and sweet like Max used to be. Now I see it like she's totally Max and Rachel is totally Chloe. That's amazing. Uh, has Rachel Amber gone rogue or fuck yes? Yeah. Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Let's get the hell out of here.